Alright, so today I'm going to be installing a 50 watt solar panel. It's not huge, but it should be enough for what we want. So, after I bought the solar panels, um, I also went to Lowe's and I got some of this. It's um, one eighth inch by two inch by three foot flat aluminum. And uh, I'm going to use this to mount the uh, solar panel to the boat. Let's see how it turns out. So first I cut the aluminum down to the same size as the solar panel. After I had the brackets cut down and the sides rounded, I had to mount my brackets. The brackets attach the solar panel to the stern rail, and I purchased them on Amazon for about 30 US dollars. Once I had the holes lined up, I used a nail to create small divots. That way the drill bit wouldn't go wandering all over. Start with a small bit and work your way up, and soon enough, I had the mounts attached to the brackets. The brackets attached to everything, and everything attached just the way we need it and everything was ready to go. Yeah. So this is the solar panel. Uh, as you can see, I already have it installed. All I did is uh, bought these on Amazon. It was a pack of two for 30, and they just screw right on. And uh, it keeps it pretty stable. Uh, I've attached it to the bars that I already showed how to make, um, one on each side. And uh, now I'm gonna be running this wire down this shaft and I've got a little connection. I'm just going to drill this out and put another one of those clam shells right there. The lines are going to run in there and up to the front. Let's see how it works. Finally I got them inside and I was able to drape them up with uh, just two little zip ties. I made two small holes and put the zip ties inside. Let me tell you it was a pain in the butt. Next I have to get the cables installed onto the controller which I'm going to mount right here. And the first cables I have to install are the ones that go from here down into the battery. Woohoo! I've managed to run the wires, as you can see, um, up through here. Now all I have to do is connect them. All right, so the final product doesn't look too shabby. I mean, it's not the best. Um, I definitely plan on cleaning those wires up somehow, uh, but these holes were already there, so can't really complain. Um, hooked it up, and it went to work right away. Uh, the only thing I have to do now is add this controller, which I'm going to add up top, up here, once I get the rest of the electrical figured out, so uh, all in a day's work. Now, about that electrical. If you've never wired a boat, or anything else for that matter, kind of like me, things can get quite confusing. One thing you need to remember is this. Everything needs both a positive and a negative connection. So, let's start with the battery. The battery is usually connected to two separate bus bars, one for positive and one for negative. The motor should run directly to the battery, thus eliminating points of failure. The breaker panel you've purchased will also need a positive and a negative connection. Run those back to the bus bar or the battery. Here's where things get a little tricky. Your new panel only has a positive connection, which means the negative lead of lights and other electronics need to make its way back to the negative lead of your battery. The solution to this problem is to add yet another bus bar close to the panel and run a single wire back down to the primary negative bus bar or the negative terminal on the battery. At least that was the simplest solution for me. All right, maybe I shouldn't have started this because it's a little frustrating, <clears throat> but I'm going to replace this guy right here with a brand new panel. And um, to do that, I've had to pull all the wiring out of the top. And here's where we stand now. I have figured out that uh, these three wires are lights. And then there's a, well, there's a through hole wire back here that you can see. Uh, one of them is ripped off. Uh, it says that it goes to the anchor light, which I don't have an anchor light. Uh, I have a steaming light, which I'm assuming that's what uh, it goes to. Yeah, I'm going to start labeling wires, and then I'm going to run wires from the bottom up to the top, hopefully, Ooh, if I can get it through. And uh, we'll see how it goes. I'll keep you updated. Okay, so now that I know what I'm going to do, um, it's time to get to work making this thing look pretty. Um, so, right here was where the old panel was. Um, that was just covered up and empty. I had a cigarette lighter there, and this was an old voltmeter that didn't work. Uh, to replace this and make it look better, I bought some maple plywood, uh, just some thin stuff, and I cut it out, 
and uh, I'm going to go ahead and varnish it and make it look all pretty. And I did the same for up here. Speaking of which, here's the wood now. All right, here are my two pieces um, already cut down to size. And uh, I'm going to go ahead and cut the hole for the uh, breaker panel now. Not to keep you on the edge of your seat, but here's a distraction before I show you the finished product. All right. So today we are going to be taking a little bit of rust off of the stern rails that I made. And um, yeah, make them look a little prettier. Uh, first, safety glasses. You need them. Uh, second, you need a buff pad. Um, just enough to get the rust off and a backing pad with it. And this is what we're working with. Stuff like this. Can't really get it off with your fingernail. <laughs> Ugh, it's a little bit rusted. And um, yeah. So, let's start. This is a fairly quick process. Just remember to take it slow and don't push too hard. Alright, so this is the end of this video. Um, everything works good. I got the electrical. I got my solar in. Uh, I'm going to put that controller in sometime. I'm just really not in the mood right now. Um, and uh, I don't know if there will be a lot of videos coming for a while. Um, our family's kind of going through some, some stuff. My wife's sister is really sick, so our thoughts and prayers are going out to her. Uh, she's been gone a lot, which means I'm playing single parent. Um, I just got done with a big Cisco CCNP test, which I passed, and then I'm back in college for my master's. So it's going to be on and off for a while, but hopefully we'll be sailing here pretty soon. I know that's what everybody would like to see and um, get this showboat running. So once again, thanks for following me with my travels on the boat. And um, there will be more coming, I promise. I'm not going to leave you hanging. And for now, I'll show you that uh, I got my beds installed, one in the front and then uh, the one in the back, you know. So uh, and then I have this, let's see, this 12-volt um, blower, which is going to help me uh, empty out the ballast when I come in because uh, I can't get fast enough to empty this thing. Apparently, if you go fast enough, you'll empty it. And uh, I think my five knots max isn't good enough. So, uh, once again, thanks for following along. Um, I'll be back soon, I promise. And uh, you guys have a good one. See you out in the ocean sometime.